Welcome back to week five of Virtual VP Kids. I have been loving learning all about the heroes we can find in the Bible. And I think my favorite thing about this series has been seeing how many of them were kids just like you. It's really great to remember that you don't have to be a grown up or a pastor or a teacher, firefighter, nurse, doctor, anybody at all really to be able to be used by God. But that even kids just like you can be used by God to do great things. In 1 Timothy 4 verse 12, the Bible says, do not let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the, for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. And I think these past few weeks, we have seen some really great examples of young people, and even I have been learning from them. Well, I suppose you're wondering who our superhero is this week. If you saw the intro clip on the big screen during the church video today, you would have heard that a kid was able to help thousands of people and was also able to help Jesus perform one of his most famous miracles of all times. Back when I was a little girl, we used to have these things called camp meetings. They were nights in the summer where we would be outside or under a tent or in a very rudimentary building listening to a pastor from away speak to us. It was often very hot and it was longer than a regular church service. And by the end of it, you just wanted to get something cold to drink, find some AC and get some food. Well, a very similar thing happened at a time when Jesus was on earth. They were having an impromptu or unplanned camp meeting. Jesus began preaching and before long, there were thousands of people there. The count in the Bible is 5,000 men plus women and children, which means there was easily more than 20,000 people there. As time grew on, the hot, hungry, and tired people began to wonder what they might do for food. There was probably some murmuring and some kids going, but mom, the disciples went to Jesus and asked if they should send the people home. Jesus said, no, he figured that someone among them would have food. Sheepishly, none of the disciples had thought to bring anything. There wasn't DoorDash and there wasn't Domino's, so they weren't really sure what they might find. Enter our young superhero. This fine young man offered up his lunch, consisting of five small loaves of bread, which were more than likely similar to a dinner roll, and two fish. The disciples began to doubt that this would be anything that they could use to fight the hunger growing amidst the crowd. Jesus responded, make everyone sit down. And with that, he looked up into the heavens and he thanked God for the food they were about to eat. With that, he, break, he broke up the food and started placing it into baskets. I, for one, would probably have done the math in my head and thought, this isn't going to work. But nevertheless, Jesus gave the baskets to the disciples and instructed them to pass them down the rows of people and carry them to the little clusters that were forming. As the baskets moved, people began to see that each time a new person reached their hand into the basket, food came out. This continued on and on and on and on as every man, woman, and child had gotten their fill of fish and bread. At the end, the disciples brought their baskets back to Jesus with food still in them. Imagine how surprised the disciples might have been. You would think that by now this would be the last time they ever doubted Jesus. But sadly, it was not. But as we see God working through our superheroes these last few weeks, we can know that if God says it, we can trust it. Now, before we go, I want to look at the hero of this story. It always made me a little sad that we didn't know his name, but I suppose you don't need to really know his name to learn from him. 
There are so many character qualities that are evident in the life of our young hero. But the one that really sticks out to me is generosity. We know that generosity is carefully managing my resources so I can freely give to those in need. Imagine if our young hero hadn't managed, managed his resources well and had devoured his food instead of saving it until it was mealtime. What if when Jesus called for food, he had decided he didn't want to give it up because he wanted it all to himself? Well, in the end, we know that Jesus honored the boy's generosity and the boy was able to eat until he was full and so was everybody else. Not only did our young hero meet a physical need for the people at the camp meeting, he was also able to be an encouragement to them. In 1 Thessalonians 5:11, we are asked to encourage one another and build each other up. This week, I want to see you encouraging someone else by speaking a kind word or safely delivering them a gift or a meal. Maybe you can send a card to someone who lives far away or video chat with them to keep them from getting lonely. Whatever it is that you choose to do, I know that God will use it to bless that person. Well, friends, I guess it's that time when we sign off for another week. I sure am grateful to get to meet with you all via YouTube while quarantined. Well, hope you all have a great week. Bye.